The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Long time, long time. Girl, you know, you know, why won't you be mine? And now you're here. This morning, and welcome back to Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, your station for fresh news, smart talk all day. It's Thursday, the 20th of June, 2024, and what a time to be in love. Two musicians in studio with me. One of them brought their own music maker with them. The other one is a music maker. And uh, throughout the show, we're going to be highlighting some new music, some new Bahamian artists, or some artists you may not have heard of before, but they should have been blazing on the airwaves a long time. So we started the show with the new track by Avi and Judah the Lion called Long Time. Girl, you know, you know, I love you. Long time. So whoever thought the Judah the Lion was going to be making rake and scrape? Mm -hmm. And the show today is going to feature all types of different Bahamian music. All types of different Bahamians making music. All types of music. Again, we started the show with Avi and Judah the Lion. Girl, you know, you know I love you long time. And see, I in love because for months now I've been begging for the crooners, the balladeers, the, the boy them and the gal them. And the oh. part speaks to your stomach, make you fall in love. The voice you're hearing is Mr. Rashad Davis. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, people. He's here with us this morning to share his new song. New song. We'll be talking about some of his new work since uh -huh. the last time he was here since with the us. last time. New yeah. album. Uh, yes. New okay. album, new work. So we're going to talk a bit about that. And then I have Tanya Hanna joining us. And she's going to talk a bit about her upcoming performance at the Spotlight Lounge, 27th of June, she has a new concert series debuting. Before we get there, I get a couple of quick housekeeping notes. If you are going to be traveling near or through Post Office Hill Street and Parliament Street near that intersection, be very careful. There are roadworks going on at the moment. Dare, I think it may be BTC, maybe it's alive, but Dare Communications Company running cables underground. This is the exact reason why you're required to have a traffic management team mm. on all road works that obstruct. See, unfortunately, each one of us are required to be our own traffic management team due to the way that people have decided they are going to drive nowadays. That takes me to my next point. Yesterday on my way home from work, I remember I told you all about my little secret escape route through town. Well, I was when I was on my escape route, I was on Market Street looking at Peck Slow, waiting for the light to turn red. And I noticed that the ATV next to me with two tourists on it, two young ladies, was just inching, inching, inching into the intersection on the red light. So I looked at them and I said, ladies, it's a red light, stop. And the young lady looked at me and said, no, we could turn right on red. <laughs> she didn't ask me. She told me, the tourist on the ATV with no helmet, she could turn right on red if she wanted to. So I reminded her, you are not in the, in the Americas. I mean, you are in the Americas, but we ain't American. I mean, we are American, but not like that. We don't drive on the right. Turn right on red is for people who drive on the right. Turn left on red is for people who drive on the left, but not for us. Section, Market Street looking at Pet Slope and Market Street on the right-hand side. Many people driving 
on Shirley Street. Now, really, that section is called Duke Street, but y'all don't know it's called Duke Street, so we keep calling it Shirley Street. That section right there, people like to turn left on red from the Shirley Street side to go onto Market Street. Except you are entering the intersection because you pass Peck Slope. See, if you, I can say this again, if you were going to turn left on red, if it were permissible, if it weren't against the law clearly, and you were going to turn left on red at that intersection, the only place you would be allowed to turn left on red is at Peck Slope. Otherwise, you have entered the intersection. You're going to cross, you almost across the intersection. So you think that the law has permitted you, at your own whim and discretion, to block up southbound traffic in both lanes because you gotta go to Market Street. I'm just saying, even if it were legal, it wouldn't make sense, would it? I mean, because it doesn't. So we've got tourists riding around the place. With that was simple. If you thought about it, if you thought, okay, when you drive on the right, you could be turned right on red, but we drive on the right. These play them driving on the left. Maybe you can't do that. Maybe you have to turn left on red. Hey. It would be better if there were signs, if there was signage. See, we talked about most disappointing MPs. Clay Sweden, you got lots of favor yesterday. The people then sent in plenty text, positive text. Don't put Clay on the list. Don't put Clay on the list. Where those street signs are. With the increase in tourists and tourists operating their own motor vehicles on the road, where are the road signs? Y'all keep demanding we praise you, and I have to ask you, praise you for what? Also, a quick story in the news. How is it the taxis, liveries, and tour buses are getting tax concessions when half of the taxi drivers, tour bus drivers, and livery drivers don't give two hoots about the law or other, dri or other drivers on the road? The majority of people turning right on red at Mackey and Shirley Street are tourism workers, taxi drivers, tour bus drivers, livery spend a large portion of them all day breaching traffic controls, parking on sidewalks, parking on pedestrian crossings, ignoring stop signs all along Shirley Street, ignoring red lights. How is it that this group of people could get a tax concession? It ain't making no sense. It ain't making no sense at all. Anyway, one Bahamian has written a song recently about driving in cars. His name is Bobo Tino. I have a whole commentary about it, but it ain't for this show. But when you hear the song, the contents of the lyrics, it's entertaining, it's witty, it's clever, but it's a clear indictment of how seriously we take driving in this country. Last weekend, we can't just go on, we had an incident where it appears that somebody realized in a snap second that my car could be a weapon and unfortunately killed his brother. It's time for us to take this thing seriously and it has to start with traffic enforcement. I see I got a red light on. But Hello. How you doing? I'm good. You ready to play some music for us? Yeah. Okay, Tanya Hannah is gonna play some music for us so that she can introduce her new concert series. What's the concert series called? Tanya Hannon concert and friends. And friends. Tell us about the series. What's different with this concert about all your other concerts? Well, this concert, this new series coming up, this is the beginning of a new season for myself. And uh, I want to invite everyone to the stage with me. My friends, I have friends who are artists. Mm -hmm. I have friends, I mean, you know, painting artists, right? I have friends who do ceramics. I do friends who do a lot of other forms of art, dancers. I want to invite them all to be with me. So we start this series where we're going to have an artist on stage while I am performing. And that's different for me because I've never seen this done. I've heard it's, you know, um, I guess it's been done because so, right, there's it's nothing like, new under the sun, right? And it's a, a painter, right? Yeah. Canvas art. Yeah, canvas art. So it's like an improv style. It is improv. So, yes, 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 yes. The whole idea is that I would like her to just uh, embody what's going on around her and allow the environment to be placed on the canvas. Mm -hmm. So, Rashad, mm -hmm. we're going to put a plug in for the musicians and the other artists, right? Yeah. See, she has Princess Pratt, yes. award-winning storyteller, Love is a part of the evening.
as well, right? Uh -huh. But I want to bring in the comedians and the rappers. Oh. Because we could turn it into a variety show. Right. This could be nice. The element, the improv element is beautiful. Imagine a comedian telling a love story based on their engagement and interaction with the crowd and the music that's playing in the background. That could be cool. Right? And imagine some rappers rapping a love song. Oh, I know this. Yeah, I think I, I'll let you figure it out. I don't know. Don't go changing to try and please me. You never let me down before. Ooh, don't imagine you're too familiar, baby. not leave you oh, in times of trouble never never come this far oh I took the good times I'll take the bad times I love you just the way you are oh, oh, oh. Just the way you are. See, I, I won't behaminize that already. Yeah. You come to dinner uh -huh. with only one bag. Okay. <laughs> you think we share in chicken snacks. <laughs> do, 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 do. Anyway, Tanya, thank you so much. Okay, at the, part, at the concert, we're going to have Raquel Roll, artist on stage. Yes. Who are the other musicians? Who's the other musician yeah. performing with you? Platty Dread. Yes, he says, Platty says this, he's coming out again. You have... He's been, what, sleeping, um, resting for six years, and he's back on stage. Okay. Yeah, he's back on stage, and so this uh, this brings now, him out for his new album. So he's, he's performing some new songs from his yeah. album. Yeah. All right, now, Tanya, we have somebody on the phone. Who that is? Who is that? Who that is knocking on my door? Uh-huh, who is that? Good morning. Phone line? Oh boy, we lost him. Oh, oh call back. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Call back, please call back. Yeah, yeah, call back. I think that's one of your people. So we let you know, please call back. We're waiting for you. Okay. I just need you all to know right now, here's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, a combination of genres jazz, rake and scrape, hip hop, pop, where you include guests in the performance because it's improv. You seen the video with the young black man who's all over Europe, all over the States. He has like a 500 song playlist. He could play all those songs. And he invites strangers to come and sing with him. I've never seen it, no. I mean, the Cruise Port Ministry of Tourism, UAB, um, United Artists, Bahamas Union, yeah. uh, BEMU, Bahamas Entertainment and Musicians Union. All you all get together and let's build a product that can give a variety of artists an opportunity to engage both the international crowd coming in and their wallets with a little paycheck and we create experience unique experience for tourists because you're improving for them so not only are you creating something for them but you're creating it in the moment with them yes that sounds good i like that i like that idea mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely so tanya spotlight lounge 27th of june how do we get tickets Give me a call. Spotlight. Now, where is Spotlight Lounge? That's Adelaide. And it's, sure, you can actually see it from the roundabout. So okay, you, so you have first on 100 yes, yards on the left. exactly, on the left. Okay, so you don't have to go far. No, you don't have to go far. And it's beautiful, elegant, and really intimate. I ain't jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. I just happy you all have nice things to do in the West, in the deep Southwest. Yes, right. It's, it's wonderful to no, it's wonderful to have that uh, level of entertainment and activity that far away. And we from have town. to applaud Naomi Taylor and her husband and Fred Munnings Jr. We really do thank them for coming up with this beautiful concept of this new, this new club, this new spot, and it's beautiful. All right. So you know what we need, right? What? What we need? We need a consistent and regular jitney route out there because the people who you want to come into that 
space, that experimental improv space, that professional musician's space, they're the young people. And they're not always moving under their own steam. But if they could get catch a bus, grab their instrument, catch a bus and head down there, chill out for two hours and listen to a Freddie Munnings, changing it now. Right? These are the types of experiences that grow both the individual musician or artist and the culture at the same time. Okay. I got this by Rashad Davis in studio with me as well. Um, we waiting for some of y'all Spotlight Lounge performers to call in to talk about your participation in the concert series. So f- feel free when you get a chance, call back in. But Rashad, last time you were here, uh-huh. you were promoting some music. Yes. Now, that particular album, we uh-huh. talked about it because yes. we had to talk about why we couldn't why play we all that music on air. Because yeah. that first album yeah. was... An intentionally adult album. It was made understanding that it would have a quote unquote a limited audience. Yes. Just in the sense that we know little kids drive music. Yeah. And parents are often shocked about what songs little kids know. Little that they know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and uh, listen, for all of my adults out there, not your children, listen, <laughs> just be. You check that song right there, Do You by Rashad. But now you're working on a, your new album. Yeah, so we're working on new projects now. Um, I The first single out is Focus. Right. Um, they're planning the second and third single for the summer. They're all summer vibes, like how this one is. Mm-hmm. All summer vibes like this one. So they'll all be out um, within the next couple of weeks. Now, what do you mean summer vibes? Like, I remember when, mm-hmm. remember when MTV used to play like three rock songs and then three rap songs and then yeah. three pop songs, right? They, they had that, that, they shifted their playlist. Yeah. And then they shifted to like the summer Why? Remember when yeah. uh, Will Smith's Summertime came on? Summer, summer, summertime. And from that, like from, it felt like from that point on, everybody expected a summer jam. Yeah. Right? Like that almost became a genre. A genre of how you do stuff, yeah. Right. So this is like a hybrid for me. It's a way for me to do, like you said, I'm a balladeer. I can rap, I can do a lot of other stuff, but this is a way of like doing something that's a little bit softer. So let's put, put your windows down, put your top back kind of energy to it. Listen, that even if you don't have a convertible, that mean take your wig off. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the car, let the let breeze. Let breathe. Yeah. Producer, let's play uh, Focus by Lamont. Lamont, yeah. So now you drop the life. So the, the life is like for the socials and everything. Ah, uh, that's your social media handle. Yeah, because okay. because it, it's more than just the music for me. I'm doing mentoring. I'm doing teaching. I'm doing other stuff um, in the art realm. So the Lamont life is everything. The music is just Lamont. All right, producer, I can try to take this call before we go to the song. Good morning, caller. Good morning, Aaron. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks. How you do? I good. Just today. Morning, morning, morning. Ta-da. Hello, ta-da. Hey, you got my family in the studio. You got my favorite Bahamian artist in the studio. And right, I should say. There we go. Thank you so much, my love. I heard about him. I heard he's writing hits for people. <laughs> Man, listen, you, uh, you, you played a song yet? No, we about We about to. Man, listen, that is a, that is a bop. All right? Absolutely. Anything else I need to say? I mean, yeah, tell us... Okay, so part of my show today, I am looking for new musicians, new music. Okay. N- new Bahamians, right? And right. so tell me from your, where you are in the music scene, who's, who are some of the new artists you're seeing out there? Well, obviously, when it comes to the woman, them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The girl power, we got Emily back on the scene. That's a good throwback to the, to the older queens. Mm-hmm. And then we got Nishi L.S. said, Loose me, let me go. And we got Erica Simonette. We got Kiara Sherman. A lot of artists that came out, of course, Wendy and Patrice. Yeah. Doing, you know, Bahamian and Pan-African music, Soka, whatever else. I ain't seen none doing no Afrobeat yet, so I wait and maybe Dia. Dia is doing a lot of different styles. You know about Dia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple yeah. of people doing the, the Afrobeat stuff, um, like live. But right, they they, okay. have, they haven't gotten to the they they haven't gotten to put it down on on wax yet. They're That's still in the brothers shine um, Avi and Johnny Cake. Johnny Cake, oh shoot! Now look here, Johnny Cake. 
have have one song called like like grime. It's about work ethic. Ain't no children listening. You say right? No, it's about it's about work <laughs> ethic. That's the young people language. You go, you know you go on the yep. street and you grind. I mean you working hard. You, you the, play on the work. gears. It's not just a singer. He's an entertainer. Yeah, it's right. the gears are grinding, right? Yep. Uh, oh. But Johnny Cake put out two songs one time, Boy Boyfriend and Long Island. And mm-hmm. both of them are sweet and different. They're both yeah. are like, behaving. I like work boyfriend. Yeah, both rake and scrape. Sweet. Got a song, mm-hmm. Shad Fur. Shad Fur um, won the little contest we had for the child protection theme song movement. Okay. We Won't Rest. So, I mean, and Bahamian Trey, even before Ronnie Butler passed, got to collab with him. Yes. He has a special announcement coming up about some work we've been doing. But I can let him release that information because it's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so a lot of things been happening. I got to shout out Nilla Allen because, you know, let's talk about it. It takes foreign people coming here to tell us we can't know them before Bahamians really jump on board. But when it's time to jump on board, they jump dead eye. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a bit of cultural imperialism. And it, it's that's the thing that we have to continually push against okay. in our country, right? And even... Even if it's a performance, even if it's just a show, even if you're just pretending, for young people, it's important to put on that show and promote your culture. Yeah. At when least. You talk yeah. about colonialism, I think about your Ministry of Decolonization. So if you are a member of Parliament, that's what your ministry would be, huh? Okay, yeah. that's all I wanted to know. Uh, absolutely. Anyway, y'all do your thing. Much love from the 242. Yeah, when you yes. put out new music. Man, I have some on TikTok. If you ain't on TikTok, you ain't happening. Only the old folks on Facebook these days, you know. Listen, I'm in a protest of TikTok. Not like the Americans do. I protest in TikTok because I shouldn't be able to access more Bahamian uh, government news on TikTok than in any other platform. That's, <laughs> that's why I boycott it. Don't know. Anyway, young people, this, this beautiful tension in the air. <laughs> We're going to thank you to that very much. Producer, let's play that thank song. You thank you, Thanks, Love to you, Sarah. Sarah. See you, Tanya. Fo- focus by Rashad Davis. And see, the tension is great. The tension is where the magic happens. There we go. A kiss was just a kiss. A touch was just a touch. wasn't enough to fix this heart that's broken to easelize it to prove how little I've been weeping and time fairy tales notions of swelling unending love and I've been urgently seeking love and seeking focus 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 on I'm so glad I wait for the beat to drop. Ooh, <laughs> so I, 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 I love it. I love it. Okay, listen. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you. Powerful. I love it. I love inspiring. it. Inspiring. Mm-hmm. Here's what I have to say right now. Okay. I've had very uh, sh- sort of people who call it harsh. In fact, somebody call it harsh. In yeah, fact, yeah. they call me like an ignorant radical. A very harsh critique of the organizing of the Afri XM. Expo and the trade show, right? They, okay. they, it's a, yeah. So it's a forum with government, like government meetings, and then they had this trade show attached to it, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of Africans uh, came over, and Caribbean people came up. Caribbean mm-hmm. leaders came up into this space, right? Because we're trying to create a new space. We're trying to create this new network. Mm-hmm. It's a trade network between the Caribbeans and so those who put it on, because that's different from the organizing. Right. Those who actually operated it yeah. did extremely well, w- given the constraints that they were forced to work with, mm-hmm. and given the Eurocentric model that they were operating within. Okay. Right? It's a bit of a heavy critique. Yeah. But I stand by my critique. I can tell you why. What's the critique? Well, the, the, the critique is that. It wasn't as good as it could have been. Yeah, yeah. And so I can tell you all this story again. Daddy O. Mitchell, when I showed him my A for achievement in math in like 10th or 11th grade, he looked at me and he said, but look at the effort. The effort is only a C. Imagine what you could have done if you got an A for effort. That's the premise of the critique, right? Pintard said, the government said trade export, exports are down. Did we take any music out there? 
to explore mm. exporting a uh, uh, trade? Mm. Did we prepare a presentation of Bahamian music and other art forms, understanding the ways in which music? In this modern time where nationality is defined differently, right, and, and more in a more restrictive way, the Bahamas has influenced almost every single art form in the Western Hemisphere, mm -hmm. from uh, Bert Williams and Vaudeville and Sidney Poitier in the, on the acting scene. We got uh, Patrice uh, Francis, Dion Johnson, Nicolette Bethel being sought after, and those aren't the only names in the theater world, being sought after to perform Shakespeare at the highest level. Jerry DeVoe just got the uh, King's Birthday Honors. Listen, love Jerry. Mm -hmm. I mean, just doing big things. And you're telling me that we didn't figure out how to bring a catalog of our culture to discuss and innovate on ways for us to export this yeah. back to the motherland. Yeah. That's what I mean when I say it was lackluster, because I know that the people there have it within them and are constrained people, mm -hmm. but the structures within which they're forced to work. And just another critique before yeah. we play some more music. Yeah. If we had taken the Golden Jubilee and the cultural aspect seriously, we wouldn't even have had to do any work because we would have presented them with the Golden Jubilee anthology of Bahamian music and culture. Mm -hmm. And we would have told them, in fact, you all start by exporting this book. And we build speaking engagements, right? We build a public campaign when we send Bahamians to explain what it is you're looking at in this book and what the connections are between us and you yeah. through these things. Through these things. That's what I mean when I say the vibe was lackluster. But see, we, we, we have to acknowledge that we have to acknowledge that um, by no indictment of anyone in particular, uh, the people who are partaking in the culture are not mm. necessarily the decision makers of how of how anything's gonna happen or would drive anything. Mm -hmm. And then also we have to kind of get used to the idea that some of the change that we need to do is uncomfortable, if not all of the change that we need to do is uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. and, and we don't seem to want to operate out of our work without exploiting the work positively for the artist, with, without exporting the work. 10 years from now, someone's gonna be feeling as though they're starting from ground zero. They're not mm -hmm. gonna know that there's a foundation there for them to build yeah. on. You know, I, I, I'm much older now, and trying to build on the legacy of someone like Joseph Spence, trying to build on the legacy of, of someone like Jerry DeVoe, trying to, to do that now, mm -hmm. I should have known that at 19. I should have known that I, that information and that cultural impact should have been available mm -hmm. to me at 19, and I would have gotten to where I needed to get to at 22. Right. Like, do young people understand, because I, lear I learned it here on the show, hosting the show, mm -hmm. that... Joseph Spence was discovered because the student from Berkeley College who uh -huh. came to find Frederick McQueen just missed him by a minute. By a minute? By a minute, he's in time. Absolute opportunity. Uh and then what a lot of people don't also don't recognize is that, see, in, in lock you can create, right? So he didn't have the proper equipment, and they had to kind of hitch together. Bands are, uh, are made of. There are rock bands all across the world who hail Joseph Spence and his playing as their core. But if you said to someone that I am a Bahamian and I want to be a rock artist, that would seem abnormal. Right, even though foreign sound ah. and the end got to be another classic forever. Right, Pineapple Down playing this weekend or next weekend. They played last night. They played last night. They played last night at um, Bon Vivant. Yes. Right, like the vibe is vibing. Mm -hmm. The thing, the, pe the young people are peopling. They're making the music. Yeah. But like, it, there's a, an infrastructure that's lacking. Yes. And I think it's an intangible, kind of intangible yeah. infrastructure that, right, where we create spaces where people are exposed to these things naturally. Yeah. So not just, oh, I, had to, I have to go to the archives because I get to write this BJC project. Yeah. Right on Joseph Spence, and they nobody know nothing. Nobody know nothing. But imagine going to the Spotlight Lounge because they're having a lecture mm. on Joseph Joseph Spence in that era, and the lecture is interspersed with Can 
but I believe that Lenny Kravitz has the only consecutive rock win uh-huh. for the Grammys ever, and he's and he also has the most rock wins with three of them, right? It Ooh. took Gr- Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it took me like being much older to say, you know what? That line between Joseph Spence and Lenny Kravitz and the line between Lenny Kravitz and, and where Bahamas eventually end up is not as different as we might think it is. Exactly. And if we exploited that connection a little bit more, mm-hmm. we would have a better arts community. Absolutely. Let's go to the phone line, and then i got to play some music for y'all. I, mm-hmm. I will impress y'all. Okay, let me go. Yeah. Good, good morning, caller. Hello. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. How you do? I am good. How are you? Can you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Good morning. My name is Raquel Roll. I'm calling. Oh, I'll nice. be the painter. Okay. At, um, on your show. Okay. Awesome. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, I, as an improv comedian, I have to ask you: When did you become an improv artist? And I truly believe I get it from my father, who is Bahamian. So I, that's why I'm here. You know, okay. to my crafting career. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so. Is for you is music an inspiration? Like, is the music your muse? Absolutely, absolutely. I truly enjoy just painting and listening to music at the same time. So I'm super excited to paint live and listen to all the amazing music and storytelling that is going to go on um, on June 27th. Absolutely, Raquel. Where can we find some of your work? How can we view some of your work? You guys can find me on Instagram. Sorry, my name is kind of long, but it's Raquel Rose Art and Healing with a period in between everything. So I'm going to say that one more time. Raquel Rose, as in the flower, Art and Healing, because art is also what I use to heal. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's R-I-C-Q-U-E-L? Yeah. Rose, as in the flower. Yeah, and then, as we play some music, and you, you're a little loud in the background. Is it oh, close? I do apologize. All right, there we go. Is it better? Yeah, that's that's much better. Producer, let's play a song. Let's play Casper, meant to be. See, Casper is featured on How to Go Delilah, which is the new. Right, but see, I, I don't want to call it a remix. I want to call it like a reinterpretation. Uh, uh, inter- interpolation. Uh, that's the interpolation of Hey There, Delilah. Uh, Raquel, um, put, it on, put yourself on mute for a moment. But no problem. When it's time to speak, sure, unmute yourself. You know, you, you feel free to unmute yourself. So we're going to play Casper Meant to Be, producer. Now, this boy must have known I was begging for a ballad here. I was begging for somebody to sing a love, not sing me, don't sing me a love song, I don't need to be in love, <laughs> sing a love song, and Casper, who is featured on the little viral hit, I would say little, the new viral hit, How to Go Delilah, an interpolation of Dosha and Mavia. Is that, it's not pulling up, producer? Don't watch that, and play something that pulls up, and we, oh, here we go. When Casper say, if you love me, baby, let's get into something, the first thing I thought is a real sensible mortgage. That's Casper. <laughs> you got it. Let's get into something. A real, right? Let's, let's do the things that real people do. 
for like anyway, what a beautiful song. What a return to like the I want to say return to the seventies, return to the eighties, return to the nineties, no, but no, it, it to the mic. Uh, to, yeah. It reminded me a little bit of Boys to Men, and then also there was an inflection there of a little bit of Barry and a little a little bit of they going back to yeah, Alex, yeah, yeah. Or, or like it's like a, a whole bringing in a, a bringing in a whole group of mm-hmm. beautiful artists. One of those women channeling Etta James. She got an mm-hmm. Etta James in her mm-hmm. somewhere, right? And that's what, mm-hmm. and I think that's what. Young Bahamians in particular, like I, all the Bahamians. That's we, refreshing. Yeah, we can give the young people a space. They need to hear that. They need to hear someone honestly, authentically is even better. Producer, play anything. Just remember, if we play in How to Go to Lila, start at like the one minute mark. Because you have one radio in there that I can't play on Guardian Radio. Other radio stations play it, but I can't play it on Guardian Radio. So I just have a selection of new artists. I have Camila Electricity. We've heard Camila before. Congratulations to Please. Camila. She's on tour now. I'd say the name of the um, group, the, the, the boy she touring with. Hosea? Hosea, right? Yeah. I just want to make sure I, I could say it properly. <laughs> Because I call it Hoosie, right? It's Hosea, right? Please send so. some of those artists my way because that's the whole thing of what I'm going to be doing is pulling back so that I can push the young artists forward. Absolutely. So, yes, we will share the stage, but I'm pulling back. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to play it to introduce you yes. and you and I need the Bahamas. Yeah, I need to hear what's out there. The variety of sound. Mm-hmm. Here we go, producer. Turn it up. I'm ready. Tell me nothing, don't wanna know. Why don't we work things through? We have a special passion. I don't know what it is about you, cause I cannot stop thinking about you. Stick into all my thoughts just like glue. For you to not know what you do to me. So if you wanna hang out, feel free. I love being in your energy. Stay informed with the NASA Guard in your news delivered. Are you tired of chasing down the latest news? Why not have it delivered right to your doorstep? The NASA Guardian is now offering an unbeatable home delivery service. Special subscription rates. Three months, just $44.80. Six months, only $79.52. One year, an amazing value at $143.36. Your daily news fix all year round. Don't miss out on this opportunity to keep up with the latest in local and international news, sports, business, and entertainment. Subscribe today. Call us at 302-2360 or 302-2353. Our friendly staff is waiting to assist you with your subscription. The Nassau Guardian, we've got the news you need. Don't wait. Call now. Streets Basketball Classic. Taking place Monday, July 15th to Sunday, July 21st. At the Hope Center and the Kendall Isaacs Gym. We are shooting hoops instead of guns. Phone 601-4842. Or visit our Facebook page. Sign up today for the 2024 Michael Scudery Basketball Classic. Hey, so on the streets, 2024 is coming. Is coming. Just sign in and have a seat, please. They'll call you in for your x-ray shortly. That's why they call it a waiting room. You won't have that problem at 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center or Imaging at Groner. We never schedule multiple appointments, so you'll be in and out in no time. And if your initial screening reveals a concern, our radiologist can conduct an alternative screening right then and there. Call 328-8157 to schedule an appointment at 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center or Imaging at Grosvenor today. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Love the show? Want to give your support? Become a sponsor today. Call 302-2300 for our rates and packages. That's 302-2300. Become a sponsor on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas.
say don't dream your life away Stop reaching for the stars Only fools fall in love But what you point off All that dreaming What you want with What you want with People say What you want with What you want with People say Get a job, find a mate, have some kids, and call it quits. Every man has a destiny, and every man has a story. I have a destiny, and I have a story. Good morning, welcome back to On The Clock with Erin Green. Uh, we went out to the break on... The Richie and Ali and Rose songs called Special Passion, and we came back from the break with On Traveling by Diane no, Hamilton. Wow. Diana Hamilton. Now, if you're searching Diana Hamilton online, you have to search Diana Hamilton Media Group, okay. right? Because there are two, two more a couple other Hamiltons. pop up. And she's a, what do you call people who play the accordion? Accordionist? Oh, they're like, they're like yeah. a pianist, right? Yeah, like, like, um, anyway, she plays the accordion. Yeah. She teaches kids how to play the accordion. Mm -hmm. She teaches kids about rake and scrape. I think they do the Cat Island summer camp. She performs. She has some French wow. tracks, some dance tracks. She has some, some uh, we call, I mean, socially focused and conscious yeah. tracks. Are you, do you, are, you, are you connected to her? Yeah, absolutely. Let her know that she can do some S, um, some SEO, search engine optimization. Right. There are some companies that she can align with that'll make sure that she's the first person that comes up when you do that thing so that you don't have to do all the extra search. Right. Now, Ministry of Tourism, Tourism Development Center, all the artist associations, understand that when people are searching for the Bahamas, uh -huh. right, the music should come up too. Should the music should come up first. That's about a part of the marketing as well. Yeah. What draws people in. And then here's what we do as pirates. Take a song and interpolate it. Put a Ronnie Butler on them. So they just happen to be physically here. Texter, that's exactly what I mean when I talk about the constraints of the model given. First of all, let's brush away this misnomer. It's a trade show. You can't come to my country and tell me I come to show you what I want to trade with you, but I don't have time to see what you're going to trade with me. Trade, is we call it bilateral? Trade, you give me something, I give you something. That's what trade is. So when I talk about the constraints of the model, it appears as if the model suggested to you all that we did, weren't supposed to offer them what we have to offer. This is what I'm talking about. Tanya. Well, this was the model that Duke Hanna... Leroy Hanna created, mm -hmm. and the model was that if you're coming to the Bahamas, it was mandatory that a Bahamian be this. Well, so I, that the mandate needs to come back in. That was a good law that we had. Has it been that helped the Bahamas? Was the law repealed, amended, or is it just not being enforced? That I could not answer, cannot answer, but I know one thing, it doesn't exist right now. And a lot of things don't exist that we had laws in place for us to help Bahamians grow, um, and those are not there anymore. There's several other laws, you know, that we could speak to in other, you know, areas. Yeah. But yes, we need to look uh, yeah, at we need again. To, we need to make sure that yes. we are enforcing that right. and reinforcing it because we have the talent we have the available. product we have it we're not diminishing your product when you add bahamian That's performance right. to it we are enhancing That's right. your product when we add bahamian voices to it and then we're giving you an opportunity to create a niche market which is the blend of sound when marshall montano comes here when he came here to perform, he wanted to hear the Bahamian music, and he wanted to perform the Bahamian music, and that's the model. The artists are down for it. It's only the people who are operating the model that refuse to let it breathe and let it live. Okay, we almost saw the time you were. Mm. Right? It's a Friday night. The jitney is coming, and I gonna get it right. Anyway, I just make up my own lyrics for that. <laughs> but that's a classic. Then the Richie has another song featuring K K1, The Avenue. We played uh, Casper's Meant to Be, featuring Dosha and Mavia. Liar, new artist Liar, featuring Vividly Val, Won't Be. It's a beautiful love song. Shad Fur and Ronnie 
have a new track out called Like Like. It's a very nice love, like a like a light love, like a summer love song, yeah. right? Like a light ballad. And uh, of course, I've got vividly Val, something light, Camila, electricity on the list. Uh, producer, play something to take it out, us out. Your choice. And why I want him his choice because that's a rake and scrape and junk and boy. And so I want to, of the songs on this list, what calls to him, the rake and scraper, the junk and what causes them to say, oh, I like that sound. Oh, I may want to try and incorporate that. Let's figure out how we can bring that to bay. Mm-hmm. Right? That's, I like that. Because the, the tension is where the magic happens. Ready when you are, producer. I got wife, I don't know what I could do. Just come to us why telling you I'll catch this number two. I'd go to Lila's been some time since I talked to you. You say you try to FaceTime me. I think you keep forgetting I on a blue. Them calls ain't gonna never come true. I think I screwed. I don't, I'll drown by the bar Nobody told you live so far I wish you was right here on East Bay Delilah, I can't come to you And I'd be a conk to promise I'd go Delilah You in school to be a nurse on PMH can need you badly But I think I hurt and I can need you more I never heard like this before Miami fire on the floor. I go the line, you know slow, you know slow. Oh, I could get to you. Oh, I might borrow jet ski too. Oh, I might. You've been on the clock. With Erin Green, I want to say thank you to Tanya Hanna and remind you of her new concert series starting at the Spotlight Lounge, 27th of June. First performance featuring Platy Dread, Raquel Roll, artist on stage, Princess Pratt, and there will be an art auction allowing guests to purchase the art that was produced as a part of this experience. Again, 27. Yeah. I find it on Spotify very easy. You don't need the app. You guys have a great day. My producer says, rake and scrape time. Let's take it back to the original route. You guys have a wonderful day. I didn't want the fun to end. Man, the fish was dry so dry. I never saw no fly. The sweet fish in the sea. I've been buckling through my knees. I get hit. I get hit. They put me on drip. They put me on drip. When I start to itch. When I start to itch. And it make me sh- Lord of mercy. I put the I eat the old barracuda. The sweet fish in the sea. Send me straight down to day and eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM, Nashville, Bahamas.